I'm gonna ask you a question. Go into a mall. I want you to look around and point out the people who were breastfed and who weren't breastfed. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference. Anyway, I guess we'll see if I get myself in trouble for this video. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video of talking about my experience breastfeeding slash formula feeding. Uh, as a disclaimer, I just wanted to start by saying whatever works best for you, do what's best for you. This video is not to try and tell you you should breastfeed, you shouldn't breastfeed. This is just my opinion, my experience, my views. Um, so I'm not hating on anyone. Do what you think is best for your baby and works best for you. Anyway, with that being said, um, I went to, as I said in previous videos, to some Lamaze classes. And at least the class that I experienced, they don't talk about formula feeding. They only talk about breastfeeding as if you don't have a choice. That really irritated me. <laughs> um, I understand that they want to teach people how to breastfeed because that's something like, you know, you have to make sure they're latching right and, it, you know, it's something that you kind of have to learn and be taught. I understand that. But they didn't talk about formula feeding, you know, what formulas they find like better, like nothing like that, not if you should do powder, liquid. No, there was no education about formula. So I think that's one of the big reasons why there's so many misconceptions about formula. Anyway, um, so with that being said, um, my whole family, myself, my mother, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, everyone in my family was not breastfed. So it was something um, I didn't want to do. I had no interest in breastfeeding. It was something I didn't want to do. Now, normally I feel, you know, it's, you know, my choice about what I want to do, when, what I want to feed my child. Usually I wouldn't give an explanation, but given this video talking about my experience, I need to give an explanation. The idea of breastfeeding to me just sounded very inconvenient. Um, when you're breastfeeding, if you're strictly breastfeeding, you're the only person feeding your child. Now, for me, that was like, um, like just like, what? Like, why should I be the only one feeding my child, you know? Austin gets up from work, so I wouldn't ask him to get up that often, but it's just nice to have the, um, it's just nice to have the option to have your husband, your boyfriend, your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your brother, your sister to feed your child when you just need an extra full hour of sleep. Anyway, Dawson was born and I thought, you know what? I'll give breastfeeding a shot. I'll just try it. Obviously you save a ton of money breastfeeding. So I thought, you know what? I'll try it. It's not my thing. I'm not into it. I'll try it. Uh, Austin really wanted me to breastfeed. He was really on my case about it. Um, the rest of my family, like my mom and my grandmother and everything, were like, well, do what you want to do. So I just thought, you know what, I'll just try it. So it went okay for about, I don't know, maybe a few days and then the pain hit. <laughs> now, I was in excruciating pain, excruciating for weeks. Every time I had to breastfeed Dawson, I would bawl my eyes out. Austin, when he was home, when he was home, when I had to breastfeed, he would literally be rubbing my back, giving me a cold cloth because I'd be breaking out in a sweat from the pain. Like this pain would shoot all the way down my back. And if I was on this side, it would go all through my arm this way. So painful. I went to multiple um, breastfeeding clinics and classes. Uh, Dawson was not tongue-tied. He was latching correctly. Everything was fine. I had enough milk for an army, but they said that my nipples were the worst they've ever seen. They have never seen nipples so damaged as mine were. I was bleeding nonstop. I had scabs. They had to put me on a prescription cream. It was awful. Well, let's give you a break um, for the next two days, just formula feed. I was so relieved. I was so happy. I was like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. 
Now I've asked other um, people and like friends and stuff if their babies have ever done what Dawson did with the bottle and they said no. So I don't know if Dawson is the only one that has done this, but he would literally collapse the nipple in the bottle. He was sucking so hard that the nipple would collapse and I'd have to pull it out and let it fill up again and then put it back in. We tried different nipples, different bottles. He did it to every bottle. So I don't know if my child just has a Hulk mouth. Like, I don't know, but it was excruciating. So not long after that, I got mastitis, which for people who don't know, it is the worst kind of pain. <laughs> um, basically, it feels like you have the flu, but like your body aches are times 50. And obviously you have swelling or whatever breast is infected. My breast was the size of Mount Everest and obviously hot to the touch. My whole body was so achy. I was so weak. I couldn't hold my son. I was in that much pain and so sick. I couldn't hold my son. I finally came to the point where I was like, why am I putting myself through all of this pain, not being the best mom I can be just to breastfeed? To me, like if breastfeeding is a breeze for you and you love it and it's great, that's great. I hated it. I despised it. Dawson must have, you know how they say, you know, babies can sense your emotions. He must have known because there was no um, bonding experience. And um, yes, I think that people can bond with their babies that way, but do I think that's the only way to bond with your child? No. When I'm feeding my child, regardless if it comes from a bottle or my breast, he's still being provided by me and there's still a bond there. There are plenty of other ways to bond with your child. So if you're breastfeeding or you're not breastfeeding or you're struggling and you don't wanna breastfeed anymore, don't be freaked out about people who say, oh, you know, it's a bond, it's a bond. Okay, great, but there's so many other ways to bond with your child and I had no bond with my child sucking on my breast. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I didn't, I didn't really understand that whole bond thing. I just didn't get it. I decided I'm done. So I went to a walk-in clinic my doctor was like on vacation or something and he confirmed I had mastitis. Now get this, get this about mastitis. If it's not caught early enough or the medication, like the antibiotics they give you don't work, you have to get surgery. They have to go in, cut the infection out and then like drain the um, infection for like a day or two, depending how bad it is. And I was like, this is insane. Why would I put my body through that risk when I already can't hold my child because I'm in so much pain from the mastitis and then I'm gonna go back to breastfeeding. What if I have to go through this again and then I have to get surgery and then I can't hold my child for a week or two? Like, to me, it is not worth it. It's just not worth it. So I went into the walk-in clinic. He said I had mastitis. Now, um, my mom said like back like in her day, they had a pill you would take to get rid of your milk if you weren't gonna breastfeed anymore. So I asked if I could have that. Now, that's not around anymore, but I didn't know that. And what this guy told me was, he didn't say it wasn't around anymore. He goes, I'm not gonna give that to you. Breastfeeding is so good for your baby. I'm like, okay, great, but I'm mom. Hmm, if you didn't know, yeah, he came out of me. I'm his mom. I'm deciding what is best for my body and my child. I don't wanna breastfeed anymore. This doctor refused to give me the tools and resources to stop my milk from coming in, which is illegal. It is illegal. <laughs> so after that, um, my mom had a fit and wanted to go in and just like lose her mind on him. Luckily, there was another doctor, like my mom called my doctor's office, explained the situation. And so they got me in with someone else, right? Or no, sorry, they didn't get me in right away, right away with someone else. I think she was back the next day, but she was booked, but they squeezed me in or something. So I went in to see her and, you know, she saw the agony I was in, you know, what my breasts looked like, what my nipples looked like, you know, and she goes, honestly, there's nothing wrong with formula feeding. She's like, I was formula fed and I like to think I just turned out, I like to think I turned out just fine. She actually said, you know, that she does, you know, she goes, I probably shouldn't say this as a doctor, but I do believe the breastfeeding nurses are like breastfeeding Nazis. They are just like so in your face. You have to breastfeed, you have to breastfeed. There's no other choice. And I just think it's ridiculous. I honestly think it's ridiculous. Um, my opinion, 
Breast is not always best. And the reason I think that, if breastfeeding is interfering with your physical and mental health, it is not worth it. Breast is not always best. If you cannot be the best mother that you need to be because you're breastfeeding, then it's not worth it. It is not worth it. So formula cannot be that bad for you because here I am, I'm just fine. My mom is just fine. My cousins, aunts, uncles, everyone is just fine. My Dawson is as healthy as can be not being breastfed. So that was my experience breastfeeding. It was hell. Um, you know, people ask me my second time around, will I breastfeed? Um, I, I mean, never say never. Um, maybe I would strictly pump for like a month just to help me like lose the weight or something. I don't know. I mean, again, Dawson was just so strong. Maybe my next baby, I won't have a problem. And my next baby will just, you know, it won't hurt or won't hurt for as long and it'll be fine. And, and if it goes great, then great. I guess I'll breastfeed. Do I think I will exclusively breastfeed? Hell no. <laughs> it should not be only my job to feed my children. I think as we all know, as mothers, we need a break sometimes. And sometimes just sleeping through one night can make a whole difference just for the week. So... Will I exclusively breastfeed? I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 not. Definitely not gonna do that. But um, again, I don't mean to offend anyone in this video and I'm sure I will anyway because I know that there's people who are very hardcore into breastfeeding and I feel like whenever they hear, hear the word formula, they think I'm saying the worst curse word in the world. So I'm sure I will offend some people, which is ridiculous, but I feel like I've been pretty sensitive in every way I can be. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess, sorry if I sounded like a little um, fired up in this video. I've just had so many people tell me so many facts that are not true about formula feeding and how much I've been, you know, looked at differently because I didn't breastfeed. I've had strangers full on ask me if I'm breastfeeding as if it's any of their freaking business to begin with. But yeah, I just really, I get really irritated about this subject. Dawson is formula fed. He was breastfed for a month. Didn't work for me. Worst, worst thing I ever did. So he's formula fed and it's the best thing we ever did. Is it expensive? Yes. But I am able to be a better mom by uh, formula feeding. So again, if breastfeeding works for you, that's great. Honestly, like whatever works for you, whether you fully pump exclusively breastfeed, a mixture of both, like, you know, formula, wh whatever works for you, I have no problem. I don't, I have nothing against mothers who breastfeed. Like that's not what this video is about. Um, but I do have issues with people who um, disagree with um, fed is best because people who disagree with the phrase fed is best have not been through the experiences that some people have been through. And I feel like if they went through what I went through, they would have done the same thing over, same thing 10 times over. So yeah, I would just like to say um, to people who are pregnant and expecting and they're not sure what decision they want to make, don't feel pressured into breastfeeding. Do what you think is best for you. Learn about both options. Learn about the benefits of formula feeding. Learn about the benefits of breastfeeding. Learn about the benefits of doing both. There is no rule in the world that you have to breastfeed. Yes, when you go to a lot of clinics and a lot of classes and maybe even your own doctor, people don't even ask you, do you want to breastfeed? They just assume you're going to breastfeed. If that's not something you want to do, whether it's your own boyfriend, your mom, your dad, whatever, if they're on you that you should breastfeed and you don't want to do it, guess what? You're the mom. You have to do what is best for you and your baby. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's about it. I don't want to ramble on too much and get myself into trouble, but um, I've said it about 15 times and I just like to say it again. Whatever works best for you is best for you and your baby. So again, I have nothing against mothers who breastfeed. If you love it and it works for you, power to you. I have nothing wrong with mothers who do both, who formula feed. Whatever works for you and is healthy for yourself and your baby, power to you. <laughs> I hope this opened eyes to people who um, want to formula feed or 
people who only believe in breastfeeding, I really hope this opened their eye, opened their eyes to a different point of view that um, breast is not always best. If it's going to interfere with your physical and mental health to the point where you can't take care of your child, no, breast is not always best. Fed is best, people. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, probably not my next video this week, but the one after, I will be flying with Dawson. So I'm definitely going to do a video where I am flying with my seven month old baby. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what my next video is going to be this week, but we will see. My Instagram is in the description box below. I always do a poll about what video you prefer to see next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.